Breaking news, thanks to Shara this morning out of Tarrant County, where crews are on the scene of a fire. Let's go over to breaking news anchor Megan Mitchell with the latest information what's happening. Yeah, good morning to you, Kara. And we're actually in Fort Worth on Tension Road, as you mentioned. But behind me here, you could see it is now going into hour three of firefighters trying to fight this. And there's a number of things I want to point out here. Of course, you could see just how many engines are still on scene, how many firefighters are here, still trying to control some of the heat that's left over from this. But I also want to show you the building itself, because you can see that not only is there smoke coming out of it at this hour, this started around 2 a.m., but you can see the roof has collapsed in. You can see some of the sides of the building are completely charred. As I mentioned, it did start around two. It's a vacant church building and they saw a lot of smoke and fire coming out of this right when they got on scene. Firefighters were trying to put out the fire. They uh, noticed that some of the building ended up shaking a little bit and that's when one of the walls came down. Because of that, one of the firefighters was actually hurt. So. They called for help. The firefighter was safely rescued and was taken to the hospital. And thankfully, their injuries were not life threatening. But the fact that this was a church, right, it made it very difficult for firefighters to work with. Take a listen to what the PIO of the Fort Worth Fire Department told me. Churches, uh, churches can be a little bit more difficult fires to fight because they have that, that wide open space in the middle of them and uh, typically we like to keep walls and doors in the way of fire. Uh, churches just have a lot of that wide open space. The fire was so massive that it actually ended up jumping from this building to one next door. It was a vacant house. There were people inside of there, but firefighters did do a special check to make sure that everyone was out of that home. And of course, they had to fight this defensively because those flames were so big and because they were aware that when they did that check, they realized that no one was in that church. They wanted to make sure that they could keep themselves as safe as possible while trying to fight this. But right now they are still on scene trying to control some of the heat that's still coming off of this and also trying to investigate how this started. Mark Kara, back to you.